A legal eagle is now taking a new look at the Jesse Smollett case, the bungled case. That legal dynamo, former U.S. Attorney Dan Webb, seen right here. And he could bring charges, too. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is in the newsroom with that story. Charlie, good evening. Brad, good evening. And Dan Webb is no stranger to high-profile cases. He says he plans on using a special grand jury to assist in this investigation, and that grand jury could decide if new charges are warranted. It's day one on the job as special prosecutor for prominent attorney Dan Webb. I'm starting this thing fresh. Today, Webb, a former U.S. attorney, is now tasked with re-examining the handling of the Jussie Smollett case. New charges are possible. It's the sixth time he's been tapped as a special prosecutor. Do I know exactly what's going to happen? The answer is no, I don't. Uh, I understand what my assignment is. Smollett is accused of lying to Chicago police, telling them in January that he was beat up and the victim of a racist and homophobic hate crime. Police body camera video from that night shows a rope draped around the actor's neck. Early on in the case, I will be setting up interviews with certain witnesses that I think are key witnesses that, at least from what I understand, are important to the case. Charges were suddenly dropped against Smollett by state's attorney Kim Fox, who faces re-election and now finds herself in the crosshairs of Webb's probe. I am not going to accept any view of this case whatsoever from anybody. I have to examine the evidence. I've got to make decisions out of fairness based on what the evidence is. We now have a special prosecutor, and that was the, the whole reason for me coming to court. Once Fox dropped those charges, Sheila O'Brien, a retired judge, had questions and asked for a special prosecutor. Judge Michael Tooman granted that request, determining that Fox did not follow procedure when recusing herself from the case. This was all about the fairness of the process whether the case, the process of handling the case was fair. There is no timeline for Webb's investigation and it will not cost taxpayers. We are not going to charge any fees. We're going to do the entire matter from start to finish pro bono with no fees charged to the taxpayers or to Cook County. Now, Webb was selected after there was little interest from public offices and elected officials around the state. State's attorney Kim Fox says her office plans to cooperate with the investigation. Live in the newsroom, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad.